Today on America's Court with Judge Ross. Mm -mm. He's acting like I knew about his family situation, like this is a part of his statement. Clearly, here's what's happening right me? now. Hold it! I said, mm mm. And even here, you were like, I'm gonna say what I have to say anyway. Screw you, Judge. In my courtroom, it's about equity and fairness. You want him to pay 628? Yes, Your Honor. All right, knock my socks off. Justice should be more than just some foreign concept. I actually want you to learn something. The law talks about something may in fact be true, but can they prove it? And that's what's tough. Fair, firm, compassionate. This is America's Court with Judge Ross. Andrew Harden claims he was intentionally sprayed with an unknown liquid during a hockey game and rushed to the hospital. Mr. Harden is suing Joe Walton in the amount of $1,250. Mr. Walton claims Mr. Harden was an obnoxious and disruptive fan and says the plaintiff was ejected from the game for taunting players, including himself. All rise. Remain standing and come to order. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Kevin Ross presiding. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. All parties have been sworn, Your Honor. Third, your Deputy Thomas. Mr. Harden, you've got this case of uh, injuries to the tune of $1,250. Yes, Your Honor. Prove your case, sir. Well, about four weeks ago, I was at a recreational hockey league game, which I attend every week with my family. Yes. And it was on a new occasion, so I just went alone. I didn't take my family. And, well, I don't know why, but when I wasn't looking, the defendant came by me and sprayed water into my eye. I have a pre-existing eye condition. I had to go to the emergency room. You know, I, I missed a lot of work. My car got towed. Well, hold on, hold on. I'm writing this down. You have a pre-existing eye condition. What's your condition? I have a corneal abrasion, and I also have dry eye syndrome as a result of that. And what happens as a result of that... Uh of having that ailment it's it's a, it requires constant care i'm constantly going to the ophthalmologist i'm constantly getting new contacts new eye drops oh so you wear contacts as Correct. well all right mr walton i've read the complaint and actually it's interesting because the way i read this and imagine who this person is you're not what i was expecting uh visually I, you know because you you seem very well adjusted you're talking about your kids and your wife and you love the game and as i'm as I'm looking at you and hearing you, but then when I read what actually happened, something doesn't quite square up. So, Mr. Walton, let me look at it from your perspective. Okay. What uh, do you recall happening? Because you don't dispute the fact that you squirted him in the eye. No, not at all. I absolutely did. <laughs> you absolutely did? Yes. Why'd you squirt him in the eye, sir? Well, um, well, he's always been known as this outspoken, belligerent, obnoxious known guy. Known by who? The whole team. Okay. Tell me how you feel about him, not your teammates. Well, I feel that he's very hard on us, uh, okay. almost to the point where it's abusive. You feel he's abusive towards you as a player? Yes. And what would you define as being abusive, sir? Well, he, he just shouts things at me. Uh, well, at that's, that that's part of being a fan, Your Honor. Let's talk about him shouting. Is that unique to him? Uh, yeah. But nobody, nobody else, else shouts? Nobody. Nobody else shouts at a hockey game. Well, I only hear what he's saying. Stop. <laughs> so other people are shouting. You seem to be distracted, particularly by Mr. Harden. Yes, Your Honor. Why are you particularly distracted by Mr. Harden? Well, because of the things he says. What does he say? He says that I should have been cut from the team. All right. Uh, That's, not the, That's um, not the first time you've heard that. That's not the first time you've heard that. No, it, it's not. You should be cut. What else? Well, I, I think he's jealous of me. No, we're talking about... <laughs> Give me a break. How can I be jealous of him? You can be jealous of him. Are you playing now? No. Then whoop, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Mr. Walton, yes. you said he says you should be cut. What else does he say that causes you to focus on the words coming out of his mouth? Well, this particular night, he mentioned something about my dad. He said, was your dad not around to teach you how to be a man? And mm -mm. he said that he would teach me. Mm -mm. He's acting like I knew about his family situation, like this was a personal I statement. Clearly, here's what's you happening right now. Me. Hold it! I said, mm-mm. And even here, you were like, I'm going to say what I have to say anyway. Screw you, judge. So when I said to you, the person that I'm seeing isn't reflective of how I read it, now what I'm saying and what I'm reading is matching up. That's fatuous. You're pretending like I knew about his family situation, like I was directly insulting him. I'm just a fan. I'm a super Sir, fan. you insulted him, and you took it personal with him. He's an athlete. He's 
participating, he's competing in a stadium. He should let that roll off his shoulder. That's part of the sport. But it's but for you, you don't want it to roll off your shoulder. I see your point, Your Honor. Thank you. So when he said that, was there anything else that he said? No, not not after that. That's when I squirted him with a water bottle. Why? Uh, I, I just came to me. I didn't think it just a reaction. Why? My relationship with my dad is not the best. Yeah, my parents divorced and he was never around. So that's why what he had said I took very personally. I'm not going to apologize for everything said, but I will apologize wow. for that. I will apologize for having no, said here's, that. No, here's how you frame that sentence. I won't apologize for, but I will, as opposed to, oh man, my bad. I'm sorry. First, again, you go back to, that's not my problem. But now that I've heard the story, okay, I'm sorry. As opposed to starting with, I'm sorry, period. I don't think I deserve to have water squirting in my eye. That's a whole different conversation. That's a whole different level of respect. You being a player, you loving the game. Your children are out there watching you. She's act the like one a being disrespectful. Coming up on America's Court. Have you ever been removed? Maybe a few times in the past. Yes. That's yes. So if you've been removed on other occasions and you were removed today, or in this particular day, then you were removed for the behavior that you exhibited previously. It's not a crime. And later... Why shouldn't you pay if you're causing a noise problem? I shouldn't have to pay because uh, this gentleman over here, Mr. Walter, he's actually phoned the police on me twice. Closed captioning provided by... If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. This is America's Court with Judge Ross. America's Court is back with the case of Andrew Harden, who is suing Joe Walton for personal injury. Bottom line is, you squirted the water. Yes. You suffered an injury. Yes, sir. And you want me to grant you $1,250 that he has to pay for because of water being squirted in your eyes. Correct. The emergency room visit, the parking Show costs. Show me. Take everything in the folder. That's all right. Thanks, Alan. What is this antibacterial prescription? Well, they gave me eye drops. Uh, my eye was shut for a full day. I couldn't see. I was in excruciating pain. He was ejected from the game because of his behavior. I was of, ejected, of Your Honor, because I was in screaming pain because the defendant uh, splashed something in my you eye. You threw a hot dog on the ice. That's a total lie. I don't even know what he's talking about, Your Honor. He had to be removed. I had to be removed because I was in screaming pain. I was doubled over in agony. Well, why for five would you have to be removed for screaming pain? You would just leave. You just acknowledged that you were removed. Well, I was, I was screaming and I was heckling a little bit and I was a little bit boisterous because after I got sprayed in the eye, I was genuinely in pain. At that point, I was really mad. So why didn't you just leave? Hold on a moment, sir. You said I was removed. Correct. Why were you removed? For disorderly conduct, making a scene, screaming. I was genuinely in pain. I could not control okay. myself. So officials removed you. Was there something dealing with a hot dog? I don't know where you got that from. That's a complete lie, Your Honor. Have you ever been removed? Maybe a few times in the past. That's yes. yes. So if you've been removed on other occasions and you were removed today, or in this particular day, then you were removed for the behavior that you exhibited previously. It's not a crime. It's cheering at a sporting event. It's not an if arrestable offense. If you're being offense. removed from a game and you've got kids and you're teaching kids and your wife is there and I got a 20-year-old young man, I start to say kid, but out of respect, a young man here, and you've played, I'm like, what are you doing? In my defense, Your Honor, the times when I was removed... There is no defense for you being removed. If people are being removed from the game, that's saying your behavior is way above and beyond. And that you keep thinking it's okay to let your kids see that? Out of thousands of games that I've attended over two decades, I get tossed out of a game and you're acting like it's some sort of crime or something? That's absurd. Really? Yeah, I'm a super fan. I live for this sport. Part of the energy when I was playing was listening to the fans, listening to people scream, getting inspired by it, getting Say energized it by it. Say what you just said again. Being energized by the fans no, screaming. Part of the experience while I was playing, you're not. I get that. No, you don't. And that's not me just theorizing. 
If you're doing all that, that's you saying, put me in, coach. And your time has come. I've been there. I've done and that. And gone. You're not 12. I'm you're fine not a 21 year old drunken guy. You're a grown man with a wife and kids, and you're acting still like this. It's like you are, there is hateration all over this situation. There is, Your Honor. Anything else you want to say, sir? No, I'm done with you. Well, I, I called him once I found out what had happened to him, and <laughs> he, he was just going on. You called him to say what? I wanted to apologize for my behavior. I don't know how he got my phone number, Your Honor. The next morning, I got a call from him. You know what, Mr. Walton? I like you. Thank you. You're a classy guy. And you're more, and out of the, all the men in this room, between deputy time, you, you are really, dis, you are, how do I say it? You are representing what a man should be. You're not making apologies. You said, I acknowledge that I did this. I called him to say, as a man, I'm sorry. You hit a nerve, and you're completely owning your responsibility. I see you. Thank you, Your Honor. Anything else? I just want to say that, you know, I attend these hockey games. You said part... that. What else? Th this, is the, this is the love of my life. You, know, you said that. What else? Nothing, Your Honor. Thanks for your time. Based on the evidence and the testimony before this court, the gavel has to come down in favor of the plaintiff. I see you. I don't have to like the litigants, but my job is to make a decision. You committed an assault. Yes, Your Honor, I did. He was being an ass. Yes, Your Honor, he was. There are going to be others. Don't let somebody else steal your shine. Thank you, Your Honor. I won't. Judgment in the amount of $1,250. That is the order. Thank you. Thank you. Judge Ross has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to pay $1,250. The judge made a great decision, but I am sorry for what I said about Joe's dad. I'm sorry, man. I didn't realize there were electrolytes in the water. And coming up on America's Court with Judge Ross. Why shouldn't you pay if you're causing a noise problem? I shouldn't have to pay because uh, this gentleman over here, Mr. Walter, he's actually phoned the police on me twice. Closed captioning provided by...